Good morning. My name is Andrew Bathgate. I'm one of the hepatologists in the Royal Infirmary of Edinburgh, and I'm going to talk about staging of fibrosis and primary bilirubin cholangitis. There are lots of entities that cause chronic liver injury, alcohol and obesity would be the commonest in Scotland. Uh, primary biliary cholangitis is one of three autoimmune conditions which affect the liver. A normal liver is smooth as in the picture. Various uh, stages of fibrosis occur before you get to cirrhosis, which is stage four with thick fibrous bands and regenerative nodules, as you can see. Staging classifications uh, used include metavir, but for PBC, Ludwig uh, proposed this classification with inflammation at stage one, extending out from the portal tracts with fibrous bands bridging between uh, portal tracts in stage three before stage four, which is regenerative nodules, thick fibrous bands, which is cirrhosis. However, this is rarely used now because it requires liver biopsy and liver biopsy is an invasive test with significant complications, occasional mortality, and requires both experienced operators as well as pathologists. It is, however, still widely regarded as the gold standard, but clearly repeat liver biopsies for monitoring of fibrosis would be inappropriate. Therefore, we've looked for other ways to assess fibrosis in certain liver conditions, such as NAFLD and hepatitis C, blood tests like FIB4, which use ALT and AST in platelets, are good surrogate markers of fibrosis. They do not uh, have the same accuracy in PBC. Direct fibrosis markers, where actual uh, compounds involved in the fibrosis process uh, are measured, again, haven't been evaluated to a large extent in PVC and are not recommended by the European Liver Association. Imaging uh, with ultrasound, CT or MRI can certainly demonstrate cirrhosis uh, and evidence of portal hypertension. But more recently, FibroScan, which measures liver stiffness, has been used in multiple liver conditions, including PBC, and is certainly the likeliest way forward in the longer term. MR elastography is expensive and not as widely available as FibroScan. So FibroScan can be carried out in clinic, it does have limitations uh, depending on patient size, but the Excel probe has definitely improved the success rate of FibroScan assessments. Get a measure of liver stiffness, which correlates pretty well with fibrosis stage on liver biopsy, as you can see from this seminal paper from France, where F0 to F4 sees an increasing number of liver stiffness. And as you can see, there's not too much overlap between F4 and F3. F3 is a level round about 10, and F4, which is cirrhosis, about 17.818. So fibrosis staging in PVC uh, blood tests, not particularly helpful and certainly not recommended by international guidelines. Fibroscan is recommended with a cutoff uh, value at baseline. So the first time it's done at diagnosis of 10, 
representing advanced fibrosis according to the easel guideline. And as you saw from the previous diagram, uh, 9.8 was F3. Blood tests such as direct bilirubin and albumin do give an indication of uh, advanced fibrosis as well. And so if the bilirubin is elevated or the albumin is low, this too would suggest an advanced stage of PBC. And making a diagnosis of cirrhosis is important because liver cell cancer, complication of cirrhosis, can be picked up at an early stage if surveillance is performed every six months with ultrasound uh, and usually alpha fetoprotein as well. One of the other complications of cirrhosis is esophageal viruses and uh, endoscopy can be used for that, although there is evidence coming out now which suggests other surrogate markers can be used and starting carvedilol or a non-selective beta blocker may be of benefit irrespective of whether you have uh, viruses. So I hope that has been helpful.